Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to discuss about the derivation of critical thickness or a critical radius of insulation for cylinder. Here, first we should know that what is meant by critical thickness or a critical uh, radius of insulation, and later we'll derive the expression for the critical thickness of insulation for cylinder. Here we are going to provide the insulation in order to reduce the rate of heat transfer. There, particularly for the small cables, wires, and small pipes, okay, there critical thickness of insulation uh, term we are going to use. In small wires and cables or a cylinders, there if the insulation you want to add on the outer surface to reduce its heat transfer up to the critical thickness its rate of heat transfer will be go on increasing even though addition of the insulation is there behind the critical thickness only the reduction in the heat transfer will be taking place that means here for the small cables and wires if you add the insulation the commonly we know that the after adding the insulation heat transfer should reduce but here up to the even though if you are adding the insulation layer up to the critical thickness means up to the certain thickness of the insulation the rate of heat transfer will be go on increasing and that will be uh, uh, reduces after the critical thickness of insulation only here if you move to this here you can see from the inside surface this is the inside the radius r1 is there over that the insulation is added for this small cable or a wire if you take and here this insulation there up to the certain thickness the rate of heat transfer will be increases and behind that thickness only the decrease in the rate of heat transfer will be taking place how is that here there is a graph the rate of heat transfer is plotted against the radius. Here the R1 is inside radius, you can see. This R1 is the inside radius. Up to the certain, the bare wire is there, the certain amount of heat transfer is there. And here we are adding the this insulation. Here this insulation, what is there? Up to this R2. Okay, R2 means here the it may be critical, critical thickness or it may be a uh, below that one here we can see that up to the critical thickness r critical that is given by the k by h ratio which is to be derived up to that the whatever the rate of heat transfer is there that will be increasing and that is reaches the maximum here the maximum it will be reaches at critical thickness of the insulation beyond that okay if you add any insulation the rate of heat transfer will be go on decreasing Okay, that is the concept of critical thickness of insulation for the cylinder and sphere. First, in this case, I am going to derive the expression for the critical thickness of the insulation for the cylinder. And in the second case, I am going to, in the next session, I am going to derive the expression for critical thickness of insulation for the sphere. The similar case here, we have considered the R1 and R2, and the water resistances are considered for the deriving. Uh, critical thickness of insulation we have taken r insulation and r convective we are going to take and outside fluid to that the heat is transferring the critical thickness of insulation rc is given by the k by h further moving for this uh, der derivation of the critical thickness of insulation we have to consider a cylinder okay that consideration of the for the cylinder we have to write it that is a consider an insulating layer in the form of hollow cylinder of length L as shown in figure. Okay, this is the uh, insulation layer okay, in the form of hollow cylinder it is. Okay, of length L. Okay, it is having the length L. Let R1 and R2 are the inner and outer radius of the cylinder. The R1 and R2 are the inner and outer radius of the cylinder. The inner surface is subjected to the temperature T1, the inner surface is subjected to temperature T1 and from the outer surface 
heat is dissipated by convection into the ambient field at T2. Here, the at temperature T2 outside surface is there. From that, the to the ambient field, heat is dissipated by the convection with a convective heat transfer coefficient h. The h is the convective heat transfer coefficient. The thermal conductivity of the material of hollow cylinder is k. The thermal conductivity of this insulating layer is k is considered. And for that, here the temperature T1 inside and outside temperature T2 and the T infinity is the fluid temperature. And there are two resistances will be there. The R insulation or R plastic will take for the wire and the R convective that is the resistance for the convection. And by this we can write the expression that is the rate of heat flow through the configuration is given by Q is equal to T1 minus T infinity that is the inside temperature and outside fluid temperature by the two resistances Ri the R insulation plus of R convection that is a convection resistance which is given by Q is equal to T1 minus T infinity this resistances we can take the for the hollow cylinder the what the resistance is there the thermal resistance concept already we have discussed by that we can write the this resistance for the hollow cylinder that is given by ln r2 by r1 by 2 pi kl plus of this convection resistance the convection resistance is given by the its surface area that is a 2 pi r2 l multiplied with the heat transfer coefficient that is the convective resistance 1 by h into 2 pi r2 l and this is taken as the equation 1 and in this one in equation 1 assuming all parameters are fixed except R2 in this equation 1 all parameters that is the T1, T infinity, R1, K, L, okay, H all are fixed except R2 that is the outside radius that is a variable that can be increased or a decreased okay by considering this one further if you move in the derivation that is the critical thickness or a critical radius of insulation for cylinder is obtained by differentiating equation 1 with respect to r2 and equated to 0 the equation 1 what we have considered that is differentiated with respect to r2 and equated to 0 that is given by dq by dr2 is equal to d by dr2 of this equation 1 T1 minus T infinity by ln R2 by R1 by 2 pi KL plus half 1 by H into 2 pi R2 L that is equated to 0. Then this whatever the expression is there, okay, differentiation of this we are going to take as a U by V uh, differential equation, the ratio U by V. The U by V difference differentiation how we will take that one that is the u differentiation of u by v is equal to v into du v into du v this is v into du that one v is this one okay then du whatever is the differentiation of t1 minus t infinity these two are constant values these are not variables therefore differentiation of this will become say zero then whole multiplying this v multiplied with the u differentiation of u will become say zero then minus of v into du v v into uh, uh, d uh, u into dv okay u we have taken that is a t1 minus uh, t infinity that is u into dv that is dv is mean differentiation of this term the differentiation of this term how we are going to get that one ln r2 is there r2 is the variable then by taking this one, this term ln R2 by R1 becomes a 1 by R2 only. And remaining term 2 pi KL will be there in the denominator. We can write 1 by 2 pi KL R2. Okay, the one ln R2 by R1 will become say 1 by R2. And this term will be remain same. Therefore, we can write 1 by 2 pi KL R2. Minus of. Okay, the minus of here we are going to take. That means because R2 will take in the numerator in order to differentiate it that will become say R2 raised to minus 1 okay then uh, that differentiation of that one will become say that uh, 
differentiation of that will be r raised to minus r2 raised to minus 1 minus of 1 that will become r2 square r minus 1 is multiplied with this term minus 1 1 by uh, r2 square it will becomes r r2 raised to minus 2 it will becomes in the numerator after the differentiation of this r2 1 by r2 and whole other terms whatever are there those will be remain same the 2 pi l okay h will be remain same r2 whatever is there if 1 by r2 differentiated that will become say r2 raised to minus 2 or in the denominator if you take r2 square and this term will becomes like this and the this differentiation will be uh, v into du minus of u into d v okay by v square by v square that already we know that one the differentiation of u by v then v square v term whatever is that that will be squared and that whole term differentiation of these two terms will be equated to zero u by v differentiation will be equal to zero then after differentiating this one this denominator if you send to this side that will become zero and this whole term will be equal to zero but in this one t1 minus t infinity difference not equal to zero this should not be equal to zero if it is equal to zero then there is no heat transfer for that reason this should be a positive value not equal to zero therefore we can write this term the second term what is there that will be equal to zero that is 1 by 2 pi k l r2 minus of 1 by 2 pi r2 square l h equal to zero and this term can one term will send that side as it is a negative then we can write 1 by 2 k l r2 that is equal to 1 by 2 pi r2 square l h then 2 pi 2 pi get cancels from both sides and l l get cancels 1 r2 and 1 r2 get cancels r2 we can take this side and k we can take in the numerator and that will become say k by h on simplifying on cancelling all the terms and simplifying it r2 is equal to or rc equal to k by h which is the critical thickness of insulation for cylinder if we know the thermal conductivity of the material of insulation and heat transfer coefficient uh, of from which outer surface what is heat is transferring to the outside fluid then we can find out the critical thickness of insulation for the any insulating layer okay this is about the critical thickness of the insulation for the cylinder the similar derivation i am going to derive in the next session that is the critical thickness of insulation for the sphere thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment